Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here for Raider Sports. How are we doing tonight? So a lot of times in my videos, you see me doing this. Look down, look up, talk a little bit. Look down, look up, talk a little bit. Have a weird pause. And that's because I'm so focused on what's in front of me. I don't want to get the stats wrong. I don't want to misquote anything. I don't want to lead you guys into some, something way out in the left field. And so I'm so focused on this shit. That I forget the production value. I, for, I, I forget about, you know, analysis because the videos run so long because I'm so worried about getting the information right. That these things take longer than they should. So, what we're doing now is we are going Raider Sports off script. So, guys, it, if you didn't know yet, Jimmy Garoppolo is out for the season. He tore his ACL. His MRI came back today, and, it, and he is definitely done. Now, when a quarterback goes down in this version of the NFL that we have, in this modern-day version, we, the spotlight focuses on one man who, who makes a lot of people see at the mouth, like a rabid dog, Colin Kaepernick. Now, a, a report came out, as I was looking, actually, at the uh, possibility of Colin Kaepernick being linked to the 49ers, which I couldn't find. I, did, I ended up stumbling across a report that says the Patriots and the Raiders have reached out to Colin Kaepernick's attorney, not his agent, his attorney, about their interest in possibly signing him for this season or a season beyond. Now, this gives me pause for a couple of reasons. One, from the Raiders, what would this mean if they're looking at signing Colin Kaepernick? Well, Colin Kaepernick isn't going to come back as a backup QB. His his ego is so big that is about as big as his ego is as big as his afro, and it's not going to allow him to play second fiddle to, to anybody. That's kind of when this whole thing started was when he lost a job in San Francisco to Blaine Gabbert. That's when he started the whole kneeling thing. We're not going to get into all that. But, so he's not going to play second fiddle. So, then what does this mean to the Raiders? And what does this mean to the Patriots if they're beginning, you know, exploratory talks? It either means, one, on the Raiders' end, Derek Carr, they're, they're looking to move on from Derek Carr. You know, the team's 0-3. They got John Gruden now. Maybe John Gruden, you know, and his... You know, know your job, get get know your role, shut your mouth, and get moving type of mentality can can get Colin Kaepernick to stay in line. But really what this tells me is that they're definitely looking to move on from Derek Carr. Or or they're at least exploring that option. Now on the Patriots side, you have Tom Brady. One of the greatest of all times. I don't think he's the greatest of all time. I go with uh, Joe Montana on that, if you want to know my opinion there. But I do believe that they, the Patriots might be starting to have exploratory movements about the post-Tom Brady era. And if this could be Tom Brady's last season, you know, because he... The teams one and two, they're not exactly looking great. I mean, they have a game against the three and O Dolphins it's coming up next Sunday, which you know it's in Foxborough, so it's it's time for Miami's you know yearly ass kicking. That they seem to, no matter how good or how bad the team is, they go up to Foxborough, they get they get trashed. So it's going to happen. So expect the three and one Dolphins next week. But really what this says is that, to me anyway, is that the Patriots front office is looking for probably next year as the post-Tom Brady era, which would probably mean the post-Bill Belichick era and the post-Gronkowski era, since Gronkowski pretty much said Brady's his quarterback, he's not playing anywhere without Tom Brady, and if Tom Brady goes, Gronk's going to walk too. 
So this is the post, you know, Patriot era is probably what they're looking at. And that's what this whole Colin Kaepernick thing tells me. I, I don't think he'll be ready to play anytime soon. We don't know. He hasn't played in next Sunday. We'll, we'll make 20 weeks of football. So, you know, a season and a quarter that he hasn't even been in the league. And what this tells me is that this is over for the Patriots if they're even exploring this route. And then from a business side, you've got to remember the NFL is a business. They've been having this problem, especially on the social front with uh, the protests. I mean, ESPN doesn't even carry the anthem anymore. They've had issues with uh, domestic violence and their viewership just goes down and down and down. Like I said in the other video that I made about the uh, Alliance of American Football, I said about a Rasmussen poll which came out that said about 33% of people who don't watch football or have toned down their football viewing have, have cited the protests as, as the reasons for that. And so if you bring back the person who started the whole thing, you're going to lose even more viewers just off you know, the fact that they're sick of it. I mean, I was seeing some uh, people commenting on Facebook about the 24-7 sports report that kind of broke this for me. And Patriots fans were absolutely outraged at the possibility of Colin Kaepernick being looked at as a possible quarterback in, in a Patriots uniform was absolutely vile. They said they will never watch Patriots games again, and you you know the jargon, but again, the NFL's a business, and this would be a total massacre of that business model. It'll The ratings have gone down. Ratings will... Con and if this happens, ratings will plummet. So, I mean, hey, you know what? The NFL does its own thing. It has survived, you know, things other than Colin Kaepernick. It has survived drugs in the 80s, drugs in the 90s, um, sexual assaults. So the NFL will continue regardless, I'm saying. But it, but it will create other avenues in which other things can compete for ratings that may not be the powerhouse that it always has. So guys, I want to know your opinions on this. Is this the end of Derek Carr for the Raiders? Does this mean Tom Brady? It has already, you know, said, you know, he's out the door. Now the Patriots are looking for other options for 2019 and maybe Colin Kaepernick is one. Um... Or do you think this is about the collusion case? Which this could very, very easily be. We're just going to throw him a doggy offer and see if he takes it. And then, boom, no collusion. That, people are looking at him. He's getting a fair shake. I'll put that in quotes. But so if people are looking at him, his collusion case now, has, now holds no water. There is no ground for the case. Throw it the hell out. Let's move on with our lives. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. You know, leave it in the comment section. I check them all the time, even though I very rarely do get comments. I do answer when they're relevant. And thank you very much for watching. We've hit about nine minute mark, so I hope you enjoyed this. And if you do, leave a like. You know what to do. I shouldn't really have to tell you this. But guys, until next time, I'm Ken Raider. This was Unscripted, signing out.